Hello, lovely people again. <laughs> There's, uh, yeah, I'm doing a few tonight, so I'm sorry. I do change my clothes, but um, they are back to back at the moment. And I'm afraid the light does seem to be glaring. I'll have to work on my angles here. But I just wanted to share a couple of things with you. Now, I know it's depth year. Um, I have, haven't actually gone wrong yet with that, but my wish list is a bit crazy. Um, but this was a deck that I actually did order before Christmas. So, without further ado, the Brady Tarot. Everyone I know has been going on about this, and I, 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 oh, I love Little Red Tarot. Thank you, Little Red Tarot, because without you, these decks would just not be possible for me and other people. And I just, uh, this is the first deck I've got with a, this gorgeous box. And I, I didn't want to go and open it completely because I thought it would be nice to record it. Yes, there are lots of other walkthroughs. And I, I don't think I'll be doing a walkthrough as such because um, you can see it um, enough. But then again, everyone seems to like different interpretations. I just thought that this, the presentation for this was just amazing. So um, I could not believe, I, I don't know if you can see it, and I, I don't know if other people have shown it, but there's a feather along here. Can I just see it? And then there's a seashell there. I have deliberately not watched many, an arrow there, and a seed there. Because I wanted it to be that surprise for me. And to get something in a box, like this i just thought was amazing um and as i say this was my probably my christmas present to myself actually last year and i asked um the lovely beth at little red terror she'd hang on to it until the new year for me because i was away so it has that lovely padded inside which you've all seen and this gorgeous little book and there's the album Gandalf. Um, I haven't started working with it yet and of course what's going to happen is it's just going to kick all my routine out isn't it because I'm going to want to work with it and I, I mean it's still sealed I haven't I literally just took it out the box um, at, on Friday wanting desperately to uh, to do something and, and to get it out but I, I wanted to kind of record it at the same time so that is the best feeling in the world. Um, and I haven't even seen all the cards and that's the backs. Um, I, as I say, I, I don't think I'm going to do a complete run through of this because I haven't even looked at it myself properly yet. Um, I don't know why I thought the cards were quite a lot wider, bigger, but um, they are normal sized cards maybe there's a two different style sizes i don't know the card stock is lovely it's got the softest feel on the front of it reminds me actually the feel of this of the um the magician uh, deck that i got for christmas with the the book um it's kind of almost got a velvety not velvety not even suede. I don't know what the word is. There is must be a word. Um, the emperor, and I can really feel that. That that's a card. You know, as much as I think I might know about decks, I don't. I'm really liking the imagery on this deck already. I only saw a few cards, and. Um, I just looked at it and I thought that I know that is a deck that I would want. So strength is a bear and strength is one of my cards for this year, depending on which system you're working on. Oh, the Hermit card. So you guys have probably all seen the run throughs of these and that is the first time I've seen that card. And I have to say, owls definitely seem to be drawing me. 
you know, I've always been a lover of wolves and you can see mine, he's mine, my, I love my wolves. But I think it must be either, you know, a new phase and I think that card's lovely. I'm not a fan of spiders at all, <laughs> but I can admire them. And a couple of years ago, I mean, it is probably a couple of years ago now, we had um, this spider outside the landing window and she was busily making her web and I could literally stand there and watch her doing each of the silk um, threads round and it completely fascinated me. I felt like Robert the Bruce um, just watching this spider doing this, in, oh wow, what a death card. I, I mean, I know people have been cooing over this deck, but I hadn't, I hadn't expected the imagery to be so um, that I would resonate with it so easily, that I would be able to look at that image and feel it, and I'm feeling it. I think that's beautiful. Not perhaps my most favourite depiction of the devil. I always feel sorry for the goat. Um, nah. And the poor old tree gets it in the tower card every time, doesn't it? Um, and, and of course, since doing the um, astrology signs, your, your sun, moon and, and rising star, uh, rising star, sign I now feel more interested in looking at the cards that relate to those particular aspects of mine in depth so already just doing the 31 days of tarot um, is is starting to to cross reference itself there's a real sun coming out of that card isn't there um, I'm not, I won't. I won't be going through the whole deck, but I think at least that I should be showing the majors for anybody. And I'm sure there is. Well, I don't know where they've been. If if I'm the first person they've seen doing this run through, but um, and I don't know very much about the rest because there's obviously some differences, and I have to read through what that means. But well. Yeah, this is a deck. I, I nearly didn't count this deck. I saw it and I thought, I, I, wow, that is a gorgeous deck. And, you know, I'd spent a bit for Christmas and I thought, oh, I'm not sure, you know, can I really justify buying myself a deck? And I'm not disappointed. It is... It's it's not really fair, I don't think, to, and I, I did it. I kind of said, look, I'm going to just go with Indie Decks and I'm not going to get myself any um, uh, mass-produced decks. But then I said, well, actually, I like mass-produced decks because they are affordable. And I think it just depends on the deck, doesn't it? Um, I would. There are a few mass-produced decks that I would love in my collection, and when I get the chance to buy an indie deck, I don't think I've been disappointed. I know I haven't been disappointed. And there is something wonderfully personal because you feel that connection with the, the creator. And I, I, I'm loving it. I, I have absolutely utmost respect for whoever um, decides to create a deck. Um, the work that's gone into this is beautiful. It has its own purpose-built little box, cushioned, and it is just delicious. So that was my very brief, but I couldn't not mention it. And um, if you want full walkthroughs with more information, please do go um, and check out other uh, reviews and walkthroughs of this deck because I don't think you'll be disappointed and little red tarot thank you again because you make possible for a lot of us uh, decks that we can't can't get without you know being heavily penalized 
So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.